हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम चैप्टर एट फ्रिक्शन टॉपिक एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द कार हैज़ अ मास ऑफ वन पॉइंट सिक्स मेगा ग्राम एंड सेंटर ऑफ मास एट जी सो वी हैव द सेंटर ऑफ मास समवेयर हेयर एट जी इफ द कोफिशेंट ऑफ स्टेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द शोल्डर ऑफ द रोड एंड द टायर इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर सो दिस इज द शोल्डर ऑफ द रोड which is an inclined surface making some angle theta so the coefficient of static friction is 0.4 so it is said that to determine the greatest slope theta the shoulder can have without causing the car to slip or tip so we have two conditions we have to find this theta for slip for the slip of the car down the incline or tip of the car so if the car uh, tips so what will happen is that the tire a will be in contact and the remaining car will tip over so we have to find this angle theta for both the condition that is for the slip and for the tip if the car travels along the shoulder at constant velocity so if the car is moving with constant velocity this means that it is in static equilibrium since the resultant forces that are acting on the car are equals to zero and that is why it is moving with the constant velocity so now this is our free body diagram and along the inclined surface we have our positive x axis and perpendicular to the inclined surface we have our y axis and at point g we will have the weight of the car so let me represent that weight this is that weight and at point a we will have the normal force at a that will be an a and at b we will have the normal force at b that is in b and similarly uh, since there we, the tire is in contact with this surface so we will have the friction so if the car is slipping downwards so the friction will be going up the friction will be will be acting in the upward direction so let's say this is my friction at a let's say this is f and this is let's say this is f a small f a and this is small f b now remember that small f a this will be equal to mu s times an a and f b this will be mu s times n b now for the slipping condition let's say let me write that for to avoid slipping now to avoid slipping uh, first of all let me resolve this weight right so let's say if i draw a line perpendicular to the inclined surface let's say that this orange line is let's say perpendicular to the inclined surface so and if i if i extend the line affection of this weight so it is going to be perpendicular with this horizontal line and similarly uh, this orange line is perpendicular with this particular line so if the angle between this line and this line is theta then the angle between this weight and this line is also theta so we can say that this angle is this angle is also theta the weight is making angle theta with this orange line which is perpendicular with the inclined surface so now we can resolve this weight into its components let's say so we will have the cos component of the weight this one will be the this one will be the cos component since the angle is made with this component so this will be w cos of theta and we will have the sine component which is going to act in this direction so this is the sine component let me write that this is the sine w sine of theta now since the car is in equilibrium we can apply the summation of forces along x that must be equals to zero so the summation of forces along x that must be equals to zero and the x direction is along the incline so this is the positive direction so we can write that along x this is f a and f a is 0 0.4 times n a so this is acting in the positive so i will write 0 0.4 times n a then we have this f b along the positive x that is plus 0 0.4 times n b and then we have this sine component of the weight this is acting in the negative x so i will write minus w sine of theta and this is equal to 
0. Now, from both of these terms, we can take 0.4 as common. So, we can write that this is 0 0.4 and a plus and b minus w sine of theta and this is equal to 0. Now, since this uh, car is in equilibrium, we can apply the summation of forces along y. That must also be equal to 0. And in this direction, this is our positive y direction. So, now in the y direction, we have an a plus and a then we have plus and b and this cos component is acting in the negative y so we will write minus minus w cos of theta so this is equal to this will be equal to zero and now from this equation we can say that an a plus and b is equal to w cos of theta and let's say this is my equation one so now from this equation an a plus and b is w cos of theta so we can put this an a plus and b equals to w cos of theta in equation one so now we can write that equation one is 0 0.4 times an a plus and b is w cos of theta minus w sine of theta. This is equal to zero. This is from this particular equation. I have substituted this and a plus and b equals to w cos of theta. Now if I bring this uh, sine component to the other side of equation, so we will have 0 0.4 cos of theta equals to w sine of theta and and here we have that w now if i divide both sides of equation by w so w will cancel out and we will have 0 0.4 cos of theta equals to sine of theta and if by dividing both sides of equation by cos of theta so this will cancel out this is 0 0.4 and sine of theta divided by cos of theta is tan theta so now for flipping, if you want to find theta, so this will be theta will be equal to 10 inverse of 0 0.4. So 10 inverse of 0 0.4, this gives me 21.80. So theta to avoid slipping is 21.80. It is 21.80 degrees. So this is the solution for the slipping. So now for tipping, if this car will tip over, so what will happen is that uh, the car will lose contact uh, with the road at point B. So if the car loses the contact with the road at point B, so this means that there will be no reaction force at point B. So NB will be equal to zero. And similarly, if NB is equal to zero, so FB, there will be no friction since the tire will be in no contact. So this is equal to zero and for tipping over the in order to in order to prevent tipping the summation of moment about point a this must be equals to zero the summation of the moment about point a must be equals to zero otherwise the car will tip over so let me write that for tipping for preventing tip over and b will be equals to zero f b will be equals to zero and the summation of moment about point a this must be equals to zero and let's consider that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that uh, this sine component of the weight is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus w sine of theta and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point a is 2.5 feet so i will multiply this with 2.5 similarly the cos component of the weight is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus w cos of theta and the moment arm of this w cos of theta is the perpendicular distance of this cos component uh from point a so the perpendicular distance of this cost coming from that point a is this distance so this is 5 divided by 2 so this is 2.5 so i'll multiply this with 2.5 and this must be equals to 0 since uh 
this f b is equal to zero this n b is equal to zero and n a and f a they are passing through that point a so they are not going to produce the moment about point a so this means that for preventing the tip the moment produced by the cos component and the moment produced by the sine component they must balance each other otherwise the car will tip over so from this equation if i divide this whole equation by uh, 2.5 w into 2.5 let me divide this whole equation by w into 2.5 w into 2.5 so this will cancel out and the weight will cancel out so we will be left with sine of theta minus cos of theta this is equal to zero or we can say that sine of theta is equal to cos of theta and dividing both sides of equation by cos of theta so sine of theta divided by cos of theta is tan theta and this will give us 1. So tan theta equals to 1 and theta equals to tan inverse 1. So tan inverse 1, 45 degrees. So 45 degrees. So if theta is greater than 45 degrees, then the car will tip over. And if theta is greater than 21.80, then the car will slip, right? So if you compare both of these theta, so let's say that this is theta for slip. So theta for slip and this is theta for tip over, right? So theta for slip is uh 21.80 and theta for tip is 45 degrees so now if if the angle is increased beyond 21.80 so what will happen is that the slipping will start so this means that uh, the slip starts before tipping right so if we increase the angle uh, greater than 21.80 so before starting the tip over the car will start slipping so the the maximum slope for the tip over is 45 degrees and the maximum slope for the slip is 21.80 this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning and i request all you people that do subscribe my channel that will help me a lot to reach out uh, many more students like you people